Greetings, denizens of the digital world and design. The Zero Killer coming to you today to, on day 114 of the year of vlogging dangerously. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about the wonders of nature and the uh, awesomeness that is killer whales. And everybody's like, what? Huh? You're going to talk about whales? Well, that, that, I, I think perhaps one of the most fucking absolutely um, gorgeous could it be awe-inspiring uh, creatures on the planet that I've ever witnessed up bloody close and personal, and I mean close, is a killer whale. Um, I have I've been a I've been a sailor for ten years now, almost uh, for almost a decade, yes. And uh, before that, I was I had sailed the coastal waters of British Columbia with cadets and uh, a little Boston whaler, tiny little thing. And uh, many a time now, I've actually been very close to. Uh, to killer whales, and I find them absolutely fascinating. They're they're surprisingly graceful for such a large creature. Uh, sleek, efficient killing machines, which is also kind of awe-inspiring, and they're just awesome in general. Um, and sometimes they get outright and downright playful, like Luna, who uh, the the tribes up north on the island believed was a reincarnation of their elder. It was the, the Nuka tribe. Yeah, they believed it was a reincarnation of their elder. And I find that to be uh, an interesting thing as well, the, the mythology and the the, uh, the legend making, or the legends that uh, exist around them on the islands as well. And now off the coast of uh, Russia and of the Far East, where I didn't know killer whales actually ranged, uh, they've discovered an all white, an albino essentially, although I don't know if it has the, the characteristic eyes, but an albino killer whale, um, who they call Iceberg. And uh, it drew my attention a little bit to the, the fact that um, Russia has got some amazing biodiversity off the off their uh, eastern coast. And it's it's uh, it's it's crazy the amount of life that's there. And, the, and when you think about it, the oceans contain so much life that we have not yet discovered. So much amazing biodiversity, so much life that uh, we take for granted because we pollute the living fuck out of our oceans. We do. There's entire islands of garbage floating in the middle of the ocean. Now, I have my theories for how to use that. Don't worry about that. I've got a, I got a plan. I just need millions and millions of dollars first and some sheerly insane people to follow along and some crazy investors to keep going with it. And I got plans for that garbage island. But reality-based, the reality of it is that our oceans are uh, more fragile than we, we, we give credit to them for, or than we, we consider. But at the same time, they've got amazing regenerative capability. They're able to bounce back from so, so much damage that we've done to them. And, uh, Things like this discovery of this all-white killer whale, they they bring to light um, more focus on the on, on the ocean, and that I like that. I like that there's there's uh, in Russia now that they, they they figure this this scientist who had done the blog entry that was the basis for the article that I had read, and now the, I've read the blog entry is hoping that the appearance of this whale in the media frenzy will actually help create a reserve off the coast of Russia, which would be awesome, because the more areas that we protect, the more uh, the more we try to keep uh, damaging practices from happening, the more attention that is coming to this, the, the nature, the fragile nature of the ocean environment, the better, because uh, the ocean is, is a huge amount of uh, our uh, oh, life revolves around it. Even if you live in the middle of bumblefuck nowhere in Alberta, uh, if you live in the middle of the, the, the Midwest and the United States, if you live in the middle of Africa, the ocean still has a profound impact on your life. You just don't realize it. And that's my uh, my environmental hippie bullshit for today, isn't it? You know, uh, that, that with that done... I have been, as usual, the Zero Killer questions, comments, concerns, death threats. You know where to put them, put them in the comments section below. And I will see you all tomorrow.